so hello guys welcome back to channel so by now i think you have come across our last video where we talked about atoms in brief if not you can check it out on the i button in the previous video we talked about subatomic particles which are the electrons the protons and the neutrons we also discussed about the arrangements of the particles which is the protons and the neutrons which are situated at the center of the nucleus the electron which revolves around the imaginary orbit called the shell so what do you think were these discoveries made overnight the answer is no these discoveries took a huge amount of time hard work and dedication of many of our scientists wait before we move on let's roll the intro so let's begin so as we were discussing earlier the discovery of the model of an atom was a slow and gradual process john dalton played a vital role to bring the discovery on track dalton's atomic theory was the first complete attempt to describe all matters in terms of atoms and their properties postulates of dalton's atomic model was as follows number 1 dalton proposed that all matter was composed of individual and indestructible building blocks which were claimed to be atoms number 2 He further proclaimed that all compounds were composed of combination of these atoms in a definite and defined ratio. Later, Dalton's theory was overtook by Sir J.J. Thomson. The model of Sir J.J. Thomson mainly explained the description of inner structure of an atom theoretically. His cathode ray tube experiment showed that all atoms contain tiny negatively charged subatomic particles termed as electrons. Now, let's discuss some postulates of Thomson's atomic model. Number 1. An atom consists of positively charged sphere with the negatively charged electrons embedded in it. Number 2. He postulated that total charge of an atom is neutral because the negative and positive charges is to be equal in the magnitude. He compared the model of an atom to a watermelon as the seeds of the watermelon is negatively charged electrons whereas the red colored part of the watermelon is positively charged. Although the model prepared by Sir J J Thomson changed the approach of scientists towards the model of an atom but it cannot be overlooked that Sir J J Thomson's atomic model had many limitations number 1 his model failed to explain the stability of atom because his model failed to explain how a positive charge holds the negative charge number 2 thomson's model failed to explain the scattering of alpha particles by thin metal foil as thomson's plum pudding model of an atom consisted of many limitations it failed so scientists had to work on something which was more accurate than sir thomson's model so what happened further and how was the model that we currently know and study about was discovered will be discussed in the next episode which will be called the atomic model part 2 so further updates do subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon to be alarmed with the notification of our videos and till then stay home stay safe wear your masks and thanks for watching